رب تموز هلولا یوسف و هراب هکاون و هقادوش هراب یوسف شالوم الیاشیب هراب یوسف شالوم الیاشیب was born on Rosh Chodesh Nisan 1910 in Lithuania and he passed away on Wednesday 28 of Tammuz uh, 2012 he lived 102 years old 102 years he lived 102 years he was born to a family of Rabbanim Rabbanim um, his grandfather was known as Leshem very big rab and Mechubal and his father also was a very big rab Harab Abraham and Yashiv he made Aliyah with his family then he was 11 years old with his uh, parents and uh, his grandfather <coughs> when he was 5 years old his father took him to Khafiz Chaim and he got bracha from Khafiz Chaim when he was 5 years old that he should become a gadol as he became a big gadol uh, very, uh, he contributed to Judaism a lot. He is known of all his halachot uh, and um, all the, the, the most difficult halachot was passed in by him, was decided by him. Death and life decisions based on Torah was trusted to him and he knew very well how to answer many complicated questions. Uh, what perhaps we can learn from his life is a life of uh, dedication and Torah learning. And, uh, his life was totally dedicated to uh, Torah learning. He, he is known of Hatmada uh, in Torah that he woke up 2.30 in the morning and he learned most of his life, more, more than 80 years of his life, 17 to 20 hours per day. He never attended yeshiva, just for a short time, maybe two weeks. But he learned Torah from his father. And he decided that he can learn on his own much better than having uh, a chabruta. His chabruta was, was his sefarim. He lived in Me'ash Arim. And, and he, he actually, after he got married, he came um, and he lived with his parents. And in the same house, he, uh, he was privileged to have 10 children in a two-bedroom apartment in Ma'ash Arim. He, he lived in a very basic life, a life uh, full of Torah learning. And he is, uh, he's famous of uh, going to synagogue, Beit HaKeneset, and closing the door and just learn Torah the whole day. Um, he was the only child born to his uh, parents. <coughs> after 17 years of not having children. Uh, he was born after 17 years. And he became a very big Gadol Torah. Uh, he always encouraged everyone to learn Halakha. He was very baki, he was very expert in Halakha. And it's interesting to know that he was a Dayan also in Yerushalayim. To become a Dayan is not easy. He was a Dayan for more than 40 years. And at some point of his life, he was a Dayan, a judge in a, in a Bedin with Harab Ovadia Yosef Sekhe Sadir Racha. And he was the one who encouraged Harab Ovadia Yosef Sekhe Sadir Racha to become Rishon Lesion. To become Rishon Lesion. He was the one who encouraged and he was very close with Harab Ovadia Yosef Sekhe Sadir Racha. His, his life uh, is a legacy. Uh, of Torah learning and uh, he had very sharp memory he always encouraged everyone to hazard and review Torah his marriage should be a protection to all of us and we should also learn from him to have more uh, you know Torah learning in our life you know just a few hours a day is something that we are proud of he lived 80 years um, 70 to 20 uh, hours a day Torah learning. We should learn from a big Sadiq and Gadol, and uh, his, uh, his Zechut should be a protection to all of us. Amen.